Yeah, so I started playing when I was 14. I've mainly played in churches and I'm actually trying to, to transition into being a traveling musician. So I want to start getting gigs and I know scales, I know chords. I think I'm kind of at a, a stalemate right now. So that's why I'm, I'm taking this course. Like I did watch like some of your videos about the practice too. And okay. I think where I'm getting stuck is I got like all these scales and stuff that I want to learn in every key and I don't have a daily practice regimen for the basic technique stuff and then like songs and things. I just got to dedicate time to that too. But but, but I would love to if I could have a, a daily practice regimen. I need to just kind of make sure we go over some, some important yeah. fundamental stuff. Mm -hmm. The one hour a day that you're practicing has nothing to do with church. It has nothing to do with practicing your songs that and your gigs and the songs that you have to learn. Gotcha. So when you say one hour, it cannot include, all right, I'm playing, I'm practicing for this weekend. I see. Okay. okay. So yeah. a lot of people, they call that practice. That's not practice. That's actually just working for the gig, right? Gotcha. right <laughs> so right. whether it's church or travel, what you mm -hmm. learn for the gig is, that's what you learn for the gig. It doesn't, it has nothing to do with your, I mean, it may help your vocabulary, but you will hit a wall if you were to use right. that to practice. Yeah, absolutely. So what we have to do is separate your gig playing and the things that you're learning for the for yeah. church and your actual practice. So basically everything I'm telling you now is separate. And the way I handle this is I actually I don't even have it in the same day gotcha. or okay. time period. Like I'm practicing in the mornings. Yeah. And okay. then when I'm doing if I'm if I have something coming up that I'm playing for, that's in the evenings. Gotcha. <laughs> I don't even have it. You see what I'm saying? You need to separate yeah. that thing. Don't right. even have it in the yeah. same session. Got you. Because okay. that you're, you need to have a mental, mentally separated. That mm -hmm. way you know, okay, this is practice. This is where I actually get better for me. Okay. But the other one is my job and what I do to make money. Right? Yeah. So that's okay. the first thing. You want to separate it. Got you. All right. So second thing is what you're going to need in this practice session is basically three things. Okay. Right? So you really want to get a way to work on your mechanics. Okay, mechanics is what's going to allow you to pull off some of the things mm. that you really want to do. So let's say you go and you learn a nice lick or you learn a nice run. Well, if your mechanics aren't up, you won't be able to execute that in real time. Gotcha. So the, the goal of the practice session is to make sure that you can execute. It's all about execution, right? So mechanics mm. is about execution. Gotcha. And so the question is, how do we... How do you practice in a way that's going to give you some execution? What is it that you can do for execution? Right. Now, it could be handing. I have that on the site, and I actually do that every day, but I also do scales, that's right? So your mm -hmm. scales aren't just execution, though. Your scales can be practicing for execution, and it could be helping you come up with chords as well. Now, if I was just doing handing, you know, that, that's handing. But if I was doing scales, I instead of just doing, I would go, oh, right? I'm, now I'm practicing right, in, yeah. in third. Well, so the right. left hand's on a C, the right hand's on an E. Right. Yeah. Or you can have the left hand on an E and the right hand on a C. Yeah, I can. Right. Yeah, that's the... And gotcha. because those are the licks that are used in gospel. Right, right. So practice is not for you to sound good. Okay. Okay. I'm going to drop right. some important bombs. So even yeah. if I get to nothing else, <laughs> I need you to I need you to remember something. If you sound good in your if you sound really good in your practice, okay. you could be doing it wrong. Gotcha. Okay. See, people have it backwards. Yeah. They they try to think when they're performing. Mm. Mm. Yeah. But when they're practicing, they're trying to sound good. Right. Right. See, that's backwards. That will always mess it up right right when you're when you're performing somewhere that is not the time to think because whatever you have is what's coming out there will be no change at that time yeah, right right <laughs> so yeah. th the only thing you could do at that time is let loose and go mm. right it's yeah, practice probably. right but see people are using practice for that because right. it's it's right. their their ego there they want to sound good for practice no that's that's you've got it backwards when you're when you're performing that's when you let loose when you're practicing that's building mechanics that's it it's not don't sound good right. don't tell yourself i like how this sounds just get it accurate right so remember 
You're going okay. for accuracy. So the right. first thing is your mechanics. And like I'm saying, I would suggest scales. And then at your level, I'll probably add drop, drop twos. Uh, okay. How are you in terms of your drop twos? So I actually, so before going through the competent list, I didn't really, I know how to form them now, okay. but I didn't like, I haven't practiced them. Um, so they're not like a, a huge thing in my mind. If that makes sense. Yeah, that yeah, probably. Yeah, no, 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 no. I get it. Uh, let me, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Just like this. Perfect. You see how you sound right now? Yeah. That's practice. Gotcha. <laughs> Got you feel it. me? Like, yeah. And I can that's, like. That's what it is, man. Yeah. That's I feel exactly like what it ones, is. Yeah. I feel like for these ones, I could take them up half steps and I'll be like, I'll be sad, you know? Um, but that, yeah, that slowed me down. Yeah. Well, down. No, well, here's how I want you to do the drop twos, though. Okay. So take this here. You know, the former drop two, you're going to take this middle E and go down. Okay. Are you doing that with uh, just your left hand? For now, yeah. I mean, you could do the E and C with the left, actually, and maybe just okay. one finger on the G. Gotcha. Now, this is just the triad drop, bass drop two. It's important, though, because you need to do this all of the drop twos, all of the C major drop twos, all and all of the C minor drop twos. Gotcha. So you're not just doing this. Nope, you're doing this. Oh, like inverting. Got gotcha. you. Okay. Yeah, that's how you do it. Because you need them. Wait, so and you need to come back down. Yeah, go do. So can you do so that one more time? Just like here. And and here's an easy way to explain this. You see, every note in the chord is a C, E, and G, right? So what note comes after G? That C again. C. What note comes after C? Um, e. E. And what note comes after E? Uh, G. So that's your chord. I see. Oh man, no, yeah. So you see, it, it, hopefully <laughs> it's it's difficult. You should be seeing that. Yeah, no. And, and when you're practicing, you're not doing this. No, you're doing. <laughs> it. You should be like, okay, what's my next note? Oh, here it is. Oh, here. You, it, it needs to feel like that. Because right. unless it feels kind of difficult, you're doing it wrong. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Remember, that's what practice is for. <laughs> yeah. And then, so you do. You go up to three. Um. Just I would the... go uh, go up to where it looks like this again, and you're an octave higher. So go up to where the G is an octave um, up. So it's okay. this one first, then this one. And remember, I'm recording the lesson. So. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. And then the next one. And then the next one. And back to it. And then you're going back down. Back down again, and then back down again. And then the next thing is, let me take this a step further because I this because this as I told you I'm, I'm giving you months of practice in just one session. Yeah, right, right. right. The next thing to do after that, before you even change a key, is okay. So here I am to worship. We know that we could play it like a C chord, but how would I play this as a drop two where the E is on top because worship oh. is an E. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Right, yeah. Gotcha. So now you got to figure that out. So here I am. So it would be, it would be this one. Yeah. So now that's drop two position. Now it seems simple when I'm explaining it like this, but this has a lot of applications that you need to actually build this up from the ground up. So here I am to worship. Mm -hmm. Now this next one, G, here I am to drop two. Bow down. That be, yep. Right, because that's the drop two of G. Here I am to say, just to say that you're my God. Oh wait, oh man, I love, yeah, I love that. that Those is. are drop twos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. what I'm saying. Learn your drop twos, man. Yeah. I haven't even been doing anything fancy, man. This is just drop twos. <laughs> a God. lot of people love drop twos, but see, you can yeah, form melodies with that. Yeah. <laughs> Those drop twos, but yeah. you got to learn them all. So yeah. learn, learn your majors, then learn your minors, which is just the minor would be the third yeah. note flat. Yeah. Gotcha. See, so now you have majors and minors. All right, drop twos. Perfect. That way, yeah, that wasn't all C minor. What was? <laughs> no, because I went Stop. to, I was going, I did a melodic run. I just went. Okay. 
but it was only three note chords. Right. right? So yeah. now I'm mixing and matching them. But so, but the, I'm, I'm kind of telling you where they start. I so see. what I do is, and let me just give you, since we got 10, now I got like five minutes left. I'm going to give oh, you okay. a big thing, then I got to go to the other two. Okay. Major first, drop twos, yeah. minor, drop twos, and then I will probably go to diminished as well. Gotcha. So the diminished okay. chord would be this, right? Okay. Then that goes down. Gotcha. So, so right now I've just been moving from major to minor to diminished. Okay. Right. Okay. It's diminished. I see. Right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So the first, the first part of your practice is mechanics. Mm -hmm. The second part of your practice is learning a song. Okay. And the third part of your practice is the, your creativity and expression. Okay. And one of the ways that you can really sound really good on that third way is to record yourself.